Look, if we want for some ice, it's a present. Hey! Hey, Grim! Jesus Christ, you ignore me much. Grimbjörn! Grimbjörn! Här, come! Oh, that's what Oh, see it? See it? Why is she good? Good. Fan, det går att gräda överallt. Good morning. Varsågod, välkommen till vår diner. Nu ska jag visa dig var badrummet är. Det är ute, det är stormigt. Det är vindigt. Det är inte så kallt som jag trodde det skulle vara. Och här är den fantastiska toalett. Ta-da! Look at this beauty! Is this where you go to the bathroom? Here is the fantastic breakfast. It's a very relaxed day. I have read like almost 200 pages of my book so far. I love these books. They are so good. 
But now we're just gonna have some late lunch. It's like 5 p.m. so it's a very late lunch. And we're just chilling inside. We went outside to move our snowmobiles because our windshields were towards the wind so we kind of needed to turn them around so they don't get broken. Yeah, so I'm just reading a lot and just drinking some coffee and taking it easy. But it wasn't at all as cold as I thought it would be, so that's very nice outside. It was nice to just sit out in the crazy weather for a little bit. But now we're back inside. And it is day two. It's Friday, right? No, it's, what day is it? It's Saturday. So we've been here for two nights. I love this cabin. I love this cabin. Oh, you did you feel? Did you, did you enjoy the little rice? Yeah, you're so cute. Oh, you're so fee. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, you're doing a nice little scratchy scratch. Yeah, you're fee. You are sleeping so much, and I love it. You're just so chilled and so happy and so relaxed. I think this is very good for you. Get a little break from being a police on the West Point. Yeah. I mean, just look at this cabin. It's dreamy. I think we're gonna plan to go here for two weeks in the summer if we can. Because with our boat, we can go here and we would bring our other boat. We have a smaller one as well, and we would, I think I wanna buy a kayak so we can bring it here and go over to the glacier, and it's just beautiful. So I think we have a good plan for two weeks in this summer. Oof, I'm looking forward to getting a shower. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's no way to take a shower when you're on these trips, of course. Well, if you would be here for longer, you would have to just, you know, find a way to wash yourself with some water and heat it. But when you're only here for like three days, there's, you just don't do that. You just do a little bit of that's fine, but when we come home, it's always nice to get a shower. So, since we were driving in avalanche terrain, or, well, we're not driving in avalanche terrain, but it is high avalanche danger. That's what I meant. We were driving in pretty safe terrain, actually. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have gone, to be honest, because it's red severity. But what I do is I have on my back everything that I need for avalanche, kind of getting somebody out if I need to, and that's like, very important. So I have my shovel, very important. And then I have my stick, it's done. A search stick. So what you do is, if there is an avalanche, I've gone on the full course, which is very good because you learn so much. There's no need to have this if you don't know how to use it. You search the terrain because if there is an avalanche and Christopher's in front of me, it's up to me to get him out. And that is cryptic terrifying. I'm actually going to buy uh, Grim a beacon because otherwise I have no way of getting him out either. So I'm gonna buy him for next year. If I see, oi, 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 oi! Did you get eyes? Oh, that's nice. Yum. Mmm, that's real nice. Lucky. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to the friend's cabin, the neighbor cabin, and say hello. And Christopher's gonna take snowmobile and Greg and I are gonna walk because I feel like I need to take some steps today. Oh, and I'm wearing these lovely ski goggles because, oh my God, stop it, because it is very snowy. We're gonna walk across the ice. It's not cold today. It's really nice weather, actually. Well, I mean, temperature-wise. Otherwise, it's pretty crazy. He's so happy to be out together. <laughs> He's so happy. Whoa. I love this weather, though. It's magical. And yeah, I have the rifle with me, or the shotgun, sorry. So because there could be polar bears anywhere here, as always, but especially here, because this is the ice, right? And right in there is a glacier, and polar bears hunt 
on the sea ice, often close to glaciers. Oops. So yeah, they could be anywhere. So you always keep your eyes and ears open. Look. Look at that guy. So happy. Probably won't. He's... <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is it. Where I stayed for a little bit. I think I was there for an hour and a half. But now the sun came out. So I wanted to go back to the cabin and just get some footage of it and just, you know, take some lovely photos in the sun. Because I have a feeling this is going to be the one time we have nice weather. Yeah, do you agree much, Kade? He feels he's doing. outside okay okay yeah oh he wants to come okay hey get it for you man the cloud to for d yeah if i say good sock it up then this is you do also i mean i'm walking over to us put it today oh my god it's beautiful Det här är ju jättefint väder. Okay, and today we are going home and the weather looks very promising right now. 10.54. Oh my god, it looks sunny. Oj, oj, oj. Now it's time to drink some coffee. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, det kan jag lova mig att göra. Ser du något, Grim? I am cooking my last breakfast here at Bjorna. I've had the same thing every morning. Well, it's going to be breakfast lunch because it's like 1 p.m. or something. So we are set to leave today at 3 or 4 which is in like three hours so we're gonna start packing up because that usually takes like one hour or more and then we have to clean the cabin and do some stuff and get it all beautiful and like we've never were here but first breakfast so what time is it it's 12 23 oh my god christopher's wearing merch hello darling Hey, how are you doing? He has been... There's a lot of foxes here, by the way. That's why he's so focused. I think he also kind of 
recognizes that there has been a lot of polar bears here because he's a little bit scared, you can see. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. In every cabin, there is a book that you sign. So people write their stories of when they were here and how the weather was. It's actually really fun to go back and read when people were here and how it was. But so we have signed. Christopher wrote this one. <laughs> Great. It's beautiful. So I'm going to sign this. Are you holding it? Oi. It says, very nice driving here. Lots of snow. <laughs> Full of 20 to 25 in the wind. Throws the rest of the days. The last day, sun and wind. Christopher Spurk and Cecilia Blomdahl and Grimm. Great success. Great. It was a great story, Christopher. Super. Yeah, you did great. two hours to get home at most if the hill goes well yep. two hours and right now it is 2:24. here's my balaclava i'm gonna put that on pack these i'm gonna pack this also all right so i'm gonna pack up now and do a last little sweep so we don't forget anything and then I will see you guys probably at home. I might film some on the way home, depending on what the weather is like, but we'll see. If not, thank you so much for watching this video. And subscribe if you like my channel and comment something if you want to. And here comes Christopher. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.